Nate's woke. <laughs> <laughs> what if Lee, what if oh. whoa 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 you almost lost a health square there. What if Ezio's actually homophobic? <laughs> so he's like making fun of uh, Leonardo. <laughs> What if he, like... You can jump to your right. I'm trying to. Okay. What if when uh, he finds out that Leonardo is sleeping with Salai, he just stares at Salai and says, Woke! (laughs) (laughs) Woke! (laughs) Leonardo putting a a small footrest at the end of his bed when he's with Salai... Good. Now I can get back up if I fall. <laughs> the wind is turning. You are channeling the air. Keep going. Good. Now you can get up if you fall. <clears throat> I was going to say, why would I ever fall? But I don't want to tempt fate. Yeah. Okay, now I think you can jump across that. We up right to uh, there? Yeah, there you go. And again. Um, and then I can go that. Woke. Was I? Uh, no, I wasn't supposed to pull anything. No, you can go jump on that that little bar. I can't make it way over there. Well, why not? Oh no! Oh, oh no. no! Oh jeez! I think if I had fallen a little further, I would have lost a health square. <laughs> well, getting full sync is very important to us. So, you know, the one reason it's important to me here is just so you don't have to do it again later. Yeah, that, and also because it. I know that the people who are so stupid that they said this will probably never watch this jump, video. Jump forward. Oh, I didn't see this little bar. Yeah. I thought you were saying to jump all the way right to here. No, 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 no. I was no, going to say, no, I can't no, no. do that. No. My point was, I was going to say, at least if someone ever sees this, they can see, oh, actually, he just doesn't like full sync. He can do it. Yeah. Because one of my least favorite criticisms is, you just can't do the thing you don't like. No, maybe I can. Maybe I just don't like it. Right. Isn't that a possibility? Why do people like full sync? I don't know. Like, I'm they genuinely like asking. Runs, runs, like, and they like things that remove the their options from playing games. That's not even fun. I don't think so. You know, the games that I thought it was fun was Unity. Because they're not mandatory. Yeah. Well, yeah, and if you I just... I mean, technically they're not mandatory here, but they are if you want to get the achievements. Well, and if you just want to have something where it's like, hey, you did all these things, now you get a, a special extra costume. Yeah. Because right. they're challenges or whatever. Yeah, that's fun. That's that's cool. I like that. Mm-hmm. But what I don't like is when you're, like, punishing people and showing a bright red flash and you fail, you absolute idiot on the screen. Yeah. All the time. Oh, it's you don't, annoying. You don't want these trophies? Oh, sorry. Because you don't like the game, idiot. Yeah. And then people online are like, why are you bad? Why couldn't you do it? And it's annoying. It's not fun. It just becomes an elitism circle jerk thing about weird people who define themselves by their video game accomplishments. Right. Yeah, who does that? Correct. Definitely not me. Harmony was achieved for the Pythagoreans when multiplicity became unity, when many thoughts combined to form one original idea. Being woke. Woke. <laughs> <laughs> I copied being woke from that. <laughs> No, here's what I'm saying. Like, I could probably point to something in every Assassin's Creed game that's woke. Yeah. But nobody complained about it. No. But nowadays, they're like, I have to play as a woman? Woke. A black guy? Woke. And it's like, why don't you save this for actual stuff that's garbage? Like, there is actual products that are... Like the Acolyte. Yeah. Garbage. That that are tainted by, like personal, religi- yeah, religious, fun. political, whatever, beliefs. And yes. they're tainted that way. Enlightening. Very funny. They're, basically what it does is it takes that thing and it just is like, what you said, this is a vehicle for my politics. Yeah. Or I wanted to tell this story about a black woman. I will use Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Not, oh, hey, this character fits Star Wars. There's a difference. Yeah, And right. so I think you're, that was your point when we talked about this before with, like, Epic Games. Was, hey, you know, it's not even, like, we don't want to see that story. Like, we asked for a game with Ottawale, you mm-hmm. know? Uh, and we got a small spinoff. We said, hey, it would be cool. Do you really think I'd jump all the way there? Yeah, I think so. We said, hey, it would be cool if we could get... Whoa, 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 no! Woke. Woke. <laughs> <laughs> Look, did you see the white character get pushed? I did, yeah, woke. Um, we basically said it would be cool if you could get Aveline, like, a full game again. You know, instead of just a, like, little spinoff. Yeah, It'd right. be cool if Xiao Jun got a game. Those are all, I hate this term, people of color, right? Mm-hmm. And so, 
we're fine. You know, I think you and I are both fine with the Assassin's Creed Shadows thing. That's not even what I'm talking about. But my point is that a lot of people... I think there are a lot of insane people who just... They see a gay person, they're like, everything's woke. They see a black person, they're like, woke. Yeah. That when we make fun of those people. But we also make fun of the people who are idiots who are like, oh, well, I only want to tell a, car a story about a black person. I'm going to make the acolyte. And, like, it's like, did you want to tell a Star Wars story? No. Right. <laughs> but I can. I can use it to tell my story. That's where I have a problem with this stuff. Or, like, when it... Um, isn't even a human lesson like Star Trek used to do. It's just like, I told this story so I could talk about why colonialism is bad. Yeah, and it's something like Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog, and you're like, okay, what? What? Like, was yeah, that why doing this? Anything? Why? Yeah. I don't know. That's where I have a problem with it. I think that's where you have a problem with it too. Because I also have a problem with the people who are really close-minded, like on the other side. Because mm -hmm. I think they think they're always right too. And they're like, oh, well, you know, I, this element, like, if they... So, for example, I saw people calling Cassandra woke in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, saying that was a woke character uh, because she can be gay and, and is a woman and stuff. And it's like, okay, well, what about this right here? They literally made Leonardo da Vinci sleep with a man. Yeah, right. Is this not woke then? Which I guess in in history there are debates if he was actually gay. Yeah, you are a big fan of it. You, put, I love it. Yeah, you've got custom Funko Pops with huge leaders made, yeah. and you put them together and have them, you know. Do oh, absolutely. Stuff. I love historical accuracy. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. definitely not the gay part of it. Yeah, I love that. historical accuracy. No, specifically. Do you see what I'm saying though? Like, where was that outrage then? And if if people just develop it now, like, you're right, this was woke, now I'm mad at it, too. I think that's just as dumb. My point is, like, where were you then? You know? Because well, you didn't care yeah, about that, because right. you were just enjoying a fun video game. Well, yeah. I think... I think the problem is now, 15 years later, you know, people are just so tired of it, in general. Like, they're tired of seeing, like, the acolyte. They're tired of seeing all this stuff. So then now they just have the opinion of, like, this is woke. Of everything. Of everything. And it's like, but, well, no, not really. Yeah, that's also you know, disingenuous. There are things though. that are just straight up not woke. It's just, you know, just because they're... I don't know. Like, it, well, it it's kind like of... It's just frustrating to me. You're, like, reading Unity into everything. Achieved, yeah. But the door is not opening. Oh, AC Unity. Cool. Do you think the next one's going to be AC Unity? They keep referencing it. Uh, I think so. Oh, cool. Well, he has to slam his wiener down on that. <laughs> Leonardo, come here. Leonardo, it, it, it's just the right uh, weight for both of us to put our balls on it, and it'll weigh it down like that scene from Indiana Jones. <laughs> no. Wait. These are the symbols that were shown to me by the Apple of Eden. They are in the wrong order. Let me just... If I rearrange these... Done! Is that an allegory for a Salai opening? Yeah, it is, <laughs> totally. <laughs> You know, I was like, I've seen this before. <laughs> Between Salai's legs. A from, vagina or something? From behind. <laughs> okay, got it. He has a bussy. Got it. <laughs> this architecture. are not Pythagorean symbols. 43, 39, 19, N, 75, 27, 42, double. Nothing. The cult of Hermes is wrong. The number is meaningless. You are leaving? No mere number can repair the world. Come, my friend. Help me charter a ship to Navarre. Must finish with Cesare Borgia. It is not intended for us. Ezio, what are you not telling me? What else are you working? Who 
Well, I have begun several dissection studies. Then King Louis XII seems interested in hiring me as an engineer. Oh, yes, I'm thinking of repainting the St. John lost in the Villa Fire. Salai would model for it again, of course. Then, perhaps I will study a woman with child to see how her body changes. Interesting. Tell me more. Next, I want to study pregnant women. That's literally what he's going to do. <laughs> I like how he has all these plans. Now. We have the information we needed. It's... What? Oh, do we finish? Yeah. Well, I finished, but do we finish the DLC? Well, we finished that. I. By the way, I can't get rid of that at the bottom. He seems to have entered some kind of coma. Well, what if you fast travel somewhere else? Well, then it'll probably go away. Were there a couple more things we wanted to do in this DLC? Or, like, in this game? Because we were going to clean up a couple things. Like, I thought we were going to do a couple Templar layers and stuff. Yeah, why don't we do, do like, one of each? We'll just kind of show them off. Alright, you want to do a Templar agent? Let's do Templar agent. Are you wanting to change our skin again, maybe? Well, can we change our skin color? No. Ugh. Unfortunately, no. We are stuck as to play this as a white smurf. monster. <laughs> It did go away, by the way. Do you think Smurf is a derogatory term? I don't even know what it means. Are you making fun of short people? No, like blue people. Who who would that be? The Navi from Avatar. I know, well, no, I know what, like, actual cartoon Smurfs are, but that doesn't exist in real life. What if you, what if you call, like, a Navi a Smurf? Is that, like, a racist term for them? Well, they're not real either, so I don't know. No, but they are That real. one idiot on our channel who was like, you can't misgender a character would probably think it was. <laughs> <laughs> Probably think it was that. Okay. Let's see, we got Assassin White, we got Red, Red, Red. Should we do, let's do the classic for a bit. Yeah, okay. Okay, All right. yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's get down with the white. Actually, do we want a different color, or do we just want No, let's do the normal one. Okay, sorry. I mean, like, the problem here. I like his normal outfit. Yeah, I love this. This is the outfit that they actually put in Soul Calibur. I That's think awesome. Five for him. Do you like his outfit more, or Altair's outfit from 1? This one. Me too. Even though I think the one from 1 is very, you know, classic, uh, this one's very cool. Why don't you do this? Okay. So, I was going to say, though, my favorite Ezio outfit is actually not this one. It's the one from Revelation. That's mine, too. Yeah, that's my favorite Ezio. Are we talking including, like, unlockable outfits? No, I'm talking the three base outfits he has. Oh. I guess technically he has four, because he has one as an old man, too, but I'm not counting that one. Like, the one in the movie. Yeah, numbers. Yeah, I'm not I'm not counting that. Because that's, like, that's, like, the most boring outfit he has. Yeah. But I would say my favorite is Revelations. Well, for me, they just go backwards in order. So it's favorite is Revelations, second favorite's Brotherhood. Really? And then... Uh, least favorites two. Although I like the one from two. You know, I don't know. I kind of feel like I might like two better. The the outfit. Why? Because I find it interesting that it one belonged to his father, so it was like a passed down generational assassin outfit. And two, I like that it has a lot of Renaissance elements in it. Yeah, it looks very true. Italian. I really like this one too. But I also think that the overexposure to this suit, or this outfit, or whatever has been kind of annoying. Like, everything Ezio oh, is in, nice. any crossover, any promotional art, anything, you're like, the Brotherhood suit! Right. And it's kind of hit the point where it's like, yeah, we get it. People love Brotherhood. We get it. The Brotherhood suit is cool. You know, like, it's it's just kind of, like, jammed down your throat. Anytime Ezio shows up, it's like, look at the Brotherhood suit! And I'm kind of thinking, yeah, I don't really see that as his only suit. So... That doesn't make it bad, but, like, just the amount of oversaturation, I think, has made it a little overrated. Whereas, I would argue 2 and Revelations are really underrated. Yeah. Like, neither of them get really any attention. I've only seen him wear Revelations outfit once outside of AC Revelations, and it was wow. in a mobile game. Wow. And then, I saw it pop up once as an unlockable in Mirage. Every other time it's been an unlockable, it's basically been the Brotherhood suit. Like, even for later assassins, they put them in the Brotherhood suit. Is that what they do for three? Yeah. Okay, I didn't remember if it was Brotherhood or two. No, if you get Ezio suits, <clears throat> Okay. And every time he's been in a spinoff, you know, or like even a fighter like Soul Calibur, Brotherhood suit, they didn't even have the other costumes as skins, nothing. Yeah. So, that 
I don't know. That, that Does that answer your question on why it annoys me? It does, yeah. I'm going to talk to this lady who's about to die. Okay. <laughs> Do it. Careful. <laughs> I have fallen from my share of rooftops. I'm waiting for my lance. Up here? He left me after our baby died. Joined up with the Chentooki gang. They say he kills now. Pushes men from buildings. I tell them I don't believe it. But you do. I do. What will you say to him if he comes? I will jump. Why should you pay for his crimes? My death will remind him of the man he once was. What? What if it was just... What if it's just push Lance's wife off in front of her? Or in front of him to remind her him who he was? Yeah, why are you misgendering him there? What is Lance? Up here. Somewhere. He will trouble you no more, Madonna. Okay, let's find Lance. I'm waiting for Lance. Oh, okay. We will kill him. <laughs> will that help you? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I had to kill this guy. I think this Templar agent is one of the DL or one of the multiplayer characters, isn't it? I don't know. I, I don't think I ever played this multiplayer. You never played Brotherhood? No. Yeah, you did. You played with me. Did I? Yeah, we got or the, was the. You helped me get the achievements. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember that actually. I thought this lands guy was the thief. Maybe yeah, he is. Joel thinks he is too. Can you pull up the database real quick? Me? Because yeah, because he just he just I'll showed try up. To find in a, Lance. I know, I understand that, but he showed up in our database in recent entries. Lands. Yeah, that's the thief. Oh, okay. I found a brief mention of a thief in Rome called Lands, who seems to be connected to a variety of domestic disturbances, according Whoa. to Abstergo's files. He ran with the Sento Ochi gang. I don't know what that means. Which, Which means, means 100, 100 eyes. eyes. Okay. <laughs> I would assume that's a metaphor, but watch out. Nice joke. Okay. By the way, did you catch that William is the reason that Desmond went into a coma? Because they were pushing to get that information from the Da Vinci disappearance? Yeah, right. So Ezio was already... Or, sorry, not Ezio. Desmond. Desmond was already in like a fragile mental health state after what happened with Lucy. I didn't remember that. And then William pushing to get that information is what caused Desmond to go into a coma. Well, yeah, is that kind of messed William up? William was a terrible father. William's not a very good dad. What if I shoot this guy? Well, then you won't kill the full sick. Oh, that's right. I have to kill him with the hidden blade. Hidden blade, yeah. Okay. I kind of. It's sad because though, like, if you actually play through the games and you read the stuff in four and later games. Uh, William is like plagued by by grief about how he treated Desmond. Yeah, um, it kind of ruined his life, actually, and um, I find that very interesting the way that that played out. 